hello this is the fourth time of me that's that's eight this is the fourth time of me filming this and one recommendation don't fucking film when your adhd is kicking in because um this is exactly what happens it's you're gonna film it like multiple times and have a mental breakdown because not enough of them are good and now you're just telling the whole internet that um you're mentally unstable okay so today we're gonna talk about spongebob the movie sponge on the run the movie is about um gary getting kidnapped by plankton because plankton wants to get rid of spongebob and king poseidon needs a snail so plankton was like oh perfect i have to get rid of spongebob and king poseidon needs a snail so i'm just gonna kidnap gary and get rid of spongebob that way so that's exactly what he did i have a rash on my hand um like as soon as he found out he um, informed Patrick about it and then went to rescue Gary to get with them and Plankton obviously knew that he knew that that was gonna happen because that was that was his plan all along so he gave them a car and he was like just just go go and um, yeah also a little detail I left out he had like a robot that he indirectly got from Sandy and he I don't know, Karen programmed it that way that it would just drive Spongebob and Patrick somewhere far, far away, I guess. And that far, far away was this random bar where we meet Keanu Reeves. <laughs> it's just Keanu Reeves in Spongebob. Look at, look, like, look at this. <laughs> yes, I did that. And you would do it too for a check. I was an employee. And I was going to get an employee of the month, and that's on period. He just, like, his job was to help Spongebob and Patrick find Gary. Um, and that, that, that's what he, exa like, that's exactly what he did. But before he managed to do that, we had, like, a little dance party with Snoop Dogg. And then also met um, El Diablo the Wicked, who is played by Danny. So yeah, um, El Diablo also had his zombie pirates, for whatever reason, that um, were actually really happy when Spongebob and Patrick accidentally ended up killing El Diablo. I don't know, it's so irrelevant for the whole story. Like, it, ha it, j it didn't help us at all. The only thing that helped was Keanu Reeves, but like, why did you have Snoop Dogg and Danny in there? And the zombie pirates and just the bar in general like can't you just like throw keanu reeves in there without like wasting 10 minutes of our time um but yeah anyway <laughs> after they accidentally killed el diablo and danced with snoop dogg they um managed to find atlantic city and instead of going to poseidon's palace and rescuing gary for why they were actually there they decided to gamble their night away but after they gambled the night away, they finally went to the palace and some shit happened there to the point where Poseidon wanted to kill them, but Patrick was like, yo, don't kill me, like I can give you evidence against Spongebob, because he didn't know that it was evidence against him. I don't know, but anyway, before they got killed, or at least just Spongebob got killed, Sandy, Squidward, uh, Mr. Krabs and Plankton. Plankton was there because he felt bad. And then everyone told their story how they met Spongebob and it was all cute and shit and whatever. Then they sang and stole Gary and ran away. And it was just like... It was cute, I guess. Like, it was nice to find out all the backstories from like the characters and how they met Spongebob. It was like a nice little detail, I guess, or whatever. It was... It was cool. <laughs> I mean, there's not much I can say to it. As soon as they ran uh, ran out of the palace, they got stopped by all the guards. And Poseidon also then came outside and he was like, Yo, I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm just disappointed. No, I'm just kidding. No, he wasn't mad. He was like, nice performance. Thanks for entertaining me. But like, I still want Gary because like, I still need him because like, look at his wrinkle. And SpongeBob was like, no. So then Poseidon was like, but like, look at this wrinkle. Like, I'm getting old. I look ugly. And he's like, now you're fine, like, just, you don't have to be flawless. So then Poseidon was just like, okay, ripped out his hair, threw out his teeth, unbuckled his belt. What is that? Oh, shit, what is that? And 
was just fine with like the, the only reason why this whole thing even ever happened and Gary got kidnapped and the story even functions the way it functioned was because Poseidon wanted to be flawless but then Spongebob just comes up there and in like 0.2 seconds convinces Poseidon that it's fucking unnecessary to look flawless like you can't just solve the fucking the only conflict you have in the whole movie in like 0.2 seconds like that's not how it works like the pacing was so fucking insane like what like for 10 minutes you're just showing us snoop dogg singing and fucking zombie pirates and danny who was playing el diablo the wicked and then they're just like oh oh wow like poseidon is fine with not fucking looking flawless all of a sudden like no <laughs> Uh, it, no, the amount of frustration I am feeling right now is just so unnecessary. But it's just SpongeBob, you disappointed me. <laughs> like, is it entertaining? Like, is the movie entertaining? Yes. Is this fucking stupid? It makes no sense. Yeah. Like, it's just dumb. I'm sorry, but like, the story is like a solid two out of ten. It, like, it's not that hard. Like, you had a nice base. You had a nice story but you fucked it up like the way you told it the pacing the unnecessary shit in the middle it's just... yeah they just ended the movie with like a little montage 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 with like a little i don't know like a montage is it montage it just sounds wrong i don't know anyway they end like the movie with like a little like a little scene with all the snails getting freed and living in bikini bottom and getting adopted by people and shit like that so sure it was cute like the backstory from like them just telling the like summer camp stories and then spongebob was spongebob spongebob also telling us like the story how he found gary or met him or whatever that was kind of cute it was like it was nice detail details details but it was also still stuff that really didn't bring us that much further in the story i mean it's a summer camp story kind of yeah because they ended up i mean they didn't have to like say that they could just sing and then steal gary and go but it was like a nice little detail but that yeah it was a nice little detail that's about it it's, it still didn't help us with the fucking story it would just made us more like i mean it was a smart move because definitely all the people that have been watching spongebob for years for example, me, we're like, oh like, you know, we have something good to say about the movie, you know? Maybe I'm unnecessarily hating on it and it's not as bad as it seems to me. To just do like a little quick summary of my whole opinion about the thing um, at the end. It's like a 4 out of 10, I'd say. Was it entertaining? Yeah, definitely. It, it was. Like... I can imagine it being a good movie if you watch it with friends, or when you're drunk, or... Yeah, that's pretty much it, that's all I wanted to say, and now I'm gonna go eat lunch, because it's like 5pm and I haven't eaten anything but waffles today. So yeah, um, stay healthy. Hope you enjoyed watching my video. Bye. Hope you have a nice day, night, whatever. Bye. Mother trucker, dude! That hurt like a butt cheek on a stick!